Hello everyone, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of business rule, this is our fourth video where we will discuss async business rule. So let's go to the screen. So these are the four important points which you have to consider when you write the async business rule. The very first one is async business rule are similar to after business rule, but you don't know when it will run. Okay, the timing is not known, but this is known that it will run after the database commits. Okay, after you made the changes and saved the form, then the business rule will run anytime based on the scheduler. The second point is async business rule runs in the background. Okay, so async business rule will run in the background and the control is returned to the user so that the user continues its work in the system. Look at the last point. So whenever the system sees that it is an async business rule, it creates a scheduled job and it will keep it in the queue. And whenever the scheduler get the time, or you can say whenever the turn of that schedule job comes, the scheduler or the system will run that async business rule. That's why we do not know when the async business rule will run. If there are more number of entries in the queue, then it will take time. Otherwise, it will run in a very short span of time. So now let me demonstrate the async business rule in the demo instance. So this is my async business rule. It is on incident form. It is running async update and you can see what I am doing here. I am updating the sort description with this particular text. Hello, I am updated by async business rule and the current date and time. And then I am just updating it because async business rule will run after update. So that's why we have to write down current dot update here. I hope you understand. So now let me save this and let's go to the incident so this is my incident you see let me update this incident because our business rule is async update so i have changed the category now let me save it you see it is saved now but the short description is not changed because this is async business rule and it will run after but and you don't know when your turn will come so now let me reload this incident form let's say you see here it is updated now so what happened why it is updated now because the async business rule was queued up in the queue and the scheduler ran it whenever it got it turn okay this is a demo instance so that's why also you see the update so early but it may take long time when the scheduler is busy and it has long number of queue so this is a proper demonstration of async business rule. You have seen it is update, but you don't know when after update. So whenever you have requirement in which you have to update the things in the background, in that case, you can use async business rule. It, it will run in the background and you can continue doing your work as simple as that. I hope this explanation will help you in understanding the async business rule and its business requirements. I will meet you in next video. Till then, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and colleagues. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.